Hello, my name is R. Blank, and I run SYB. Inspired by the work of my father, Dr. Martin Blank, one of the world's leading EMF scientists, it's my company's mission to make technology safer for you to use and enjoy. Today I'm going to speak with you about EMF radiation in children. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you've watched even just one or two of my videos, you know that EMF radiation protection is important for everyone, young and old. But children have increased health risks from exposure to harmful EMF radiation. Let's dive in and find out why. There are a few critical differences that make a child more vulnerable than an adult. Obviously, children are smaller than adults, and so their heads are smaller. Why does this matter? Well, let's say, for example, that a specific dose of cell phone radiation penetrates three inches into your adult head. In a child with a smaller head, that penetrates more deeply into the brain and exposes a larger portion of the brain to the EMF radiation. Add to that, children have thinner skulls. Since bone provides a degree of natural shielding against EMF radiation, this means that children have less of that natural protection. And in fact, a 2015 study funded by the Environmental Health Trust demonstrated that children absorb significantly more radiation from a cell phone than do adults. Children's brains aren't just smaller, they also have a higher level of water content compared to an adult. And this means that their brains conduct and spread EMF radiation more effectively and widely than an adult's brain. This amplifies the damage of exposure to electromagnetic radiation. Children are obviously growing. What this means, at the cellular level, is that their cells are dividing and multiplying more rapidly. So any damage that results in a cell's DNA from an EMF radiation exposure will be replicated and spread further throughout their bodies. Add to all this the fact that children are younger. This means they have longer to live. And this in turn means that they will live with any damage from a source like EMF radiation for much longer. This gives more time for the damage to multiply and spread and impact their bodies. And so the damage will accumulate and grow over time. These are the four main factors why children absorb more EMF radiation than adults do and why they are more vulnerable to damage from EMF radiation. It's not just that children are more vulnerable to damage from EMF radiation because of physiological and biological differences. Today's children are also exposed to a ton more of this EMF radiation than any of us were in our childhood. A 2020 study found that 53% of UK youth have a smartphone by the age of seven. That's second grade. By the time they are 11, a full 90% have smartphones. And this study included even more concerning findings. 39% of the children said they could not live without their phone. 57% of the children said they always slept with their phone by their bed, which you should not do. 44% of the children expressed discomfort at being in a location without cell service. And 42% of the children explained that they are constantly worried about their battery dying. The numbers are clear. A lot of really young children have smartphones. And it's also clear from the results that a lot of these surveyed children are expressing symptoms of cell phone addiction and are already demonstrating unhealthy habits with their tech. And that leads to even more increased exposures to EMF radiation. So we see that children are more vulnerable to damage from smartphones and that a lot of children are using these devices. Given these facts, what are the differences we might expect to see in negative health effects for children when compared to adults? Those children who start using cell phones before age 20 had a 400% increased risk of forming a brain tumor on the side of the head where they hold their phone. Exposure to cell phone radiation negatively affects brain function and cognitive processing in children. EMF brain exposure for mobile phone use over just one year may have a negative effect on the development of figural memory performance in adolescents. Children whose mothers used a cell phone while pregnant or who used a cell phone early in life were 80% more likely to have symptoms of ADHD. I'm an advocate that everyone should take the steps to live healthier with less EMF exposure. But as you can see, that's even more important for children. 
To learn more about EMF radiation and what you can do to start protecting your children's health, please visit shieldyourbody.com. Thank you.